Hey everyone, today I thought I'd talk about uh, Bugshot Gorongosa that we had two years ago. And uh, the reason I'm talking about it now is because there's a way where you can support this awesome conservation initiative and also uh, just have awesome coffee every morning. So if that's something you enjoy, you can hit like and subscribe and you'll be notified when you hear, uh, when, when we make more videos like this. Gorongosa coffee. So I got their Greta Thunberg uh, bundle, which is um, comes with Girls Run the World coffee and Save the Trees coffee. And we actually just adopted a kitty. Let me get her. We just adopted this adorable kitty and actually named her Greta Thunberg. So sometimes she's Miss Thunberg, sometimes she's Greta. <laughs> So, uh, so I thought, well, it's really cool because Gorongosa reached out to us and said, hey, uh, do you want a discount code for coffee? So if um, so, they gave us a discount code, Kendra20, so you can have 20% off of your coffee. So that was Greta, our kitty, and we obviously love what the conservation initiatives that Greta Thunberg is doing, as does Gorongosa Coffee, so I thought I would just open this up. Um, of the two coffees that we got out of that Greta bundle is, I, um, I really liked the Girls of the World coffee. It's nice and smooth. Oh my gosh, this is giant. Ta-da! Giant bag of coffee. Uh, you also usually get um, stickers, which I put on my uh, computer. I might give these away since I already have them. Um, and so if you want to um, order some of this coffee, I put the code below, but it's uh, the code is Kendra20 to get 20% discount off of your next order. Bugshot Gorongosa was in Mozambique, Africa, about two years ago. This is a really cool place. Um, they had a civil war there and a lot of the wildlife was negatively affected. A lot of the populations were... Um, destroyed uh, down to zero or very few individuals and they are now reintroducing things like water bucks um, which have a huge population there now and also they've had uh, they've done uh, reintroduced the wild African wild dogs um, really cool thing about this coffee is that it helps it helps both the people that live around Gorongosa National Park and it helps the biodiversity. So what they've done is they have um, given trees, coffee trees, to the local people. So instead of cutting down the trees to grow food for the family, they've given, they have trees now, that coffee trees that they can grow and make money from. So they get, they get to put food on their table, it helps fund conservation projects uh, uh, in Gorongosa. And, um, just Gorongosa National Park is magical. So Bugshot there was amazing. We, um, I'll put some images in there of some of the really cool insects that we got to see. So stock-eyed flies, which is something I'd always wanted to, to see. You learn about them in textbooks, but um, they were literally, there was a big population right outside of our room. There's little, your room is in these little huts. And so right outside of our little hut was a vegetation patch that the stock-eyed flies love to hang out on. So there was those, um, all sorts of really cool uh, black lighting. Oh my gosh, the mantids were amazing. Um, some really cool, so we saw some really cool beetles there, all sorts of amazing wildlife. And then of course, the magic of Africa, right? So whereas you walk to breakfast every morning, the warthogs are rooting around by the swimming pool, uh, baboons are running around, um, and you had to keep a close eye on your breakfast because it was just an open air um, room that you ate breakfast in and so the so the, the vervet monkeys would come in and steal your food um so it was it was an adventure it was a lot of fun we really enjoyed uh Gorongos national park i think everybody that came to bugshot 
had an amazing time. Um, it was very different from other buckshots because we actually had to have armed guards when we were out um, in the field. So we would go out into the bush and look for uh, very go to different various areas and look for insects uh, to photograph and so we had to have armed guards because there were lions out there and elephants and other things that could quite literally kill us and uh, if you've ever been photographing with bug shot or with other bug photographers you know that we're almost always looking down and not really aware of our surroundings because we're so focused on the tiny things um, so it was an adventure it was a lot of fun um, so this is a great place. We got to see firsthand uh, the, the water buck were, had actually overshot their carrying capacity there at Gorongosa. They were really successful because there weren't very many predators yet that had, um, that had also increased their numbers. So uh, it's a really cool conservation story. So go and uh, go buy yourself some Gorongosa coffee. Uh, I'll put the link below and um, and across the screen here maybe and um, and you can see all of the cool conservation projects that they're doing. They actually have a biodiversity school right there at Gorongosa National Park, so they're actually educating uh, students from Gorongosa. They're right there at um, the national park. Um, so they're producing, they're actually creating the next leaders and conservationists at Gorongosa National Park. So really there's nothing negative <laughs> to say about this. Uh, this is awesome. This is a great project, great location. If you ever get a chance, go visit Gorongosa National Park. Uh, you will not regret it. Hey, Editing Kendra here. So um, I just wanted to end by saying that Gorongosa Bugshot was amazing. And if you're interested in joining us for a Bugshot, um, go to bugshot.net, get yourself on our email list, and um, you'll you'll be notified when we make when when we um, make another Bugshot uh, in another country. So um, if you could, you could like and subscribe, and I'll also create a video for the Bugshot that we are about to go to. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.